Hi boys and girls. Today's craft is a fireman's hat for our new topic, people who help us. So here's what it should look like when you are finished. Okay, and it goes on your head and you can put it right down. It doesn't really quite fit my head, but here it is and a little badge at the front. So all you need is two pieces of red paper and you can use black, which I've used for my badge, or it can be any color, a white badge with whatever piece of paper that you have. You just need a pencil, some scissors, and I used a stapler because it worked better than glue. Okay, so take your first page, first red page, and I'm slightly just cutting off the corners to round them. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little rounded corner at each side, a rounded corner. I will show you now, if you can see where I drew my line. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it out. So just cut round. And that's it. That's nice and rounded. Cut it again. get an adult to help you with this bit if you like and then you've got your page so it's still kind of your page but just a little bit rounded rather than your rectangle shape okay and then you're going to draw on the inside to make a big circle on the inside like a zero so following your paper I'm trying to keep this a little bit thick. Okay, so it's, I've drew a zero on. And now this is the part where the adult will need to help you. You need to pinch it in the middle and use their scissors to cut. And you're going to cut round your circle on the inside. It's more like an oval following the shape of the page. Okay, and you end up with like a big zero. Okay, and these are scrap pieces, so we don't need those anymore. Okay, so that's going to be your hat bit. You can place it on your head. Then you need to take your other piece of red paper. Mine's is just folded, but it doesn't need to be. And I am going to draw, so I don't need it to be too thick. I'm just going to draw some strips down. And I'm using the whole length of the page. Okay, so I've drew, I don't know if you can see that, but once I've cut it, you will be able to see. So I'm cutting off my one strip. And then my second strip, and I don't need this one. So I've got my two strips and these are going to be the bits that I'm going to attach to make our hat. So one piece is going to be attached from front to back and the other piece is going to be attached from side to side. So I used my little stapler and it was stapling it, putting it underneath, doesn't matter if you go on top, and I used my little stapler to staple it just in place like that. That's one side. And it's too long, so don't worry, because it's going to be bended for your head to fit in. And then do it on the other side. So it's nice and curved. And you're not pulling it tight. There's one piece done of the hat. Then your other strip is going to go across your hat. So I'm taking a little stapler again. And I've stapled one side and I'm just going to go over it. doesn't matter if you go over it or under it. It's up to you. And just staple the other side together to your edge of your hat. And then I have put these two pieces together. So it's laid flat and then I've put these two pieces together and I've just stapled them just to keep it, to make it a bit more and there's my hat 
complete. But I thought I should add a little badge for my police, or sorry, my fireman's hat. So I'm just gonna draw on like a little sketch of the badge. You can make it any shape you want and cut it out. mine a bit of a funny shape and I'm going to stick it on the front and I'm going to use my staple again to staple it on and there you have it your fireman's hat boys and girls hopefully it fits you a little bit better than it does me hope you have fun bye